The woman had a cyst on her shoulder. The doctor gently squeezed the cyst with his hand so that the white sauce instantly sprayed all over the nurse's face. The woman was very happy with the result of the surgery and the nurse could only grievously wipe the white liquid off her face and go to the next patient. But she didn't expect this woman's cyst to be even more horrible. The nurse couldn't even measure the size of the cyst with calipers. The doctor examined Patricia repeatedly around her neck. He said the cyst was very rare. The cyst could only be removed with a device he had developed himself. After he finished, he started to show Patricia his equipment, but Patricia refused to let him do so in order to feel the pleasure of squeezing the cyst. The nurse also told the doctor to stop insisting on the machine, but her actions angered the doctor, so he squeezed the giant cyst so hard that the white sauce sprayed the nurse's face again. Before the nurse could get over it, the doctor squeezed the cyst again. Do you feel that it is particularly stress-free after watching but the nurse finally couldn't take it anymore? She went to the receptionist to complain and said she would quit immediately after today's work. Meanwhile, the doctor was still tinkering with his instruments. He also planted cysts on the intern's backs in order to apply for a patent. Then he brought in three patent examiners to inspect the procedure. When the approvers entered the operating room, the intern's face was unusually pale. The doctor lifted his shirt and saw a super large cyst on his back. By this time, the doctor could not wait to start the surgery. He turned on the button of the instrument and then the red laser from the device immediately started cutting the cyst. This scene should make people feel uncomfortable. The approver tells the doctor to hurry up and finish the surgery. The doctor hears his words and without saying a word, he inserts the device into the cyst. The device is continuously extracting the contents of the cyst. The intern was screaming in pain. The nurse tried to go up and pull out the device. However, the device was firmly stuck to the cyst and could not be pulled out. The approver asked the doctor to turn off the device, but the doctor stopped moving. The approver saw that the device's storage bag was shaking, so it pushed the doctor straight through and cut the bag. The next second, a lot of saw scashed out. The intern's body was instantly reduced to skin. The object flying out of the apparatus directly made another approver lose his breath instantly. It turned out that the cyst planted by the doctor had mutated into a monster. The monster pounced on the body of the last approver. The doctor ran away in a panic, followed by the nurse. The cleaner didn't know what was happening and stood still. This old man just walked out of the hospital. The cyst on his neck was severed by the falling iron door. The cost of his surgery to remove the cyst was saved straight away. The nurse slapped the doctor. After she saw the hospital lockdown procedure activated, she was just about to leave when the approval officers burst in. She said that as long as the doctor helped her to get rid of the cyst on her shoulder, she would agree to the patent application of the doctor. The doctor forgot his fears and took her to the operating room. The nurse found the receptionist and the cleaning lady to help. By the time the three of them returned to the operating room, the doctor was ready to perform the surgery. The cleaner pointed his gun at the cyst monster. However, the cyst monster instantly healed itself. The cleaner had to leave in embarrassment. Then the doctor activated the instrument and attacked the cyst monster with laser. They didn't expect this action to have any real effect. The cyst monster couldn't resist jumping off the shoulders of the inspector. Approval was excited and thanked the doctor for his help. But then the cyst monster suddenly jumped on her face. The others rushed out of the operating room. They were standing in the hallway discussing how to get out of this place. Then the door of the operating room was suddenly opened. The cystic monster's body had evolved to become bigger and bigger. The crowd rushed to hide, but the cyst monster soon smelled it and came over. The doctor pushed down the cleaner in order to stay alive. The cleaner was dragged away by the cystic monster. Soon after he fell to the ground, the nurse saw so many people in trouble and finally couldn't stand it anymore. She hit the doctor with a bottle. The doctor also punched her next. The two of them just fought each other without showing any weakness. But soon the cystic monster found them. The receptionist spoke up and said that they had to find a way out of the hospital as a matter of urgency. Otherwise, no one would survive until the cyst monster broke through the door. That's when the doctor finally spoke up. He said that the hospital lockdown could be shut down by activating the switch downstairs. After hearing this, the nurse decided to go downstairs alone. But when she carefully arrived downstairs, she found a big hole in the ceiling. On the other hand, the cyst monster suddenly broke through the ceiling and entered the infirmary. The receptionist saw no way out and decided to use love to touch the cyst monster in front of her. This is a monster evolved from cysts. It evolves by diluting the nutrients of the human body. The human being it sucked ended up with only a skin. But this woman wanted to use love to make it better. 
She said to the cis monster, I know you don't really want to harm people, but to gain attention and love, if it's convenient for you, we can go on a date tonight. The cystic monster heard these words and was somewhat moved. But then the woman suddenly pulled out scissors and attacked it. But the cis monster reacted quickly to destroy the woman who cheated its feelings. The nurse was distraught at the sight. She and the doctor decided to take revenge. They went to the operating room and decided to use the equipment to destroy the cis monster. But just as the nurse was about to turn on the instruments, the doctor ran outside and locked the door. He also swallowed the key with a bad smile on his face. The nurse saw that the cis monster was about to break through the ceiling, but she had the bright idea of pouring her secret stash of bodily fluids into her gloves. She shoved the glove through the door and then stomped on it. The doctor was instantly sprayed with body fluid. The cis monster smelled the body fluid and took the doctor's breath away. The cis monster beats the doctor to the ceiling again. The nurse hurriedly grabbed the laser emitter and weighed it in place. When the cis monster comes down from the ceiling, the nurse shoots the laser. But not only is the monster fine, it also knocks out her emitter with its tail. The nurse was forced into a corner by the cis monster. Critical moment, the nurse saw the cis monster's bracelet in his stomach. So she punched the cystic monster's stomach and ripped out its eyeballs. Then she picks up the transmitter and blows it up. The instrument next to her malfunctioned and was about to explode. The nurse picks up the keys on the floor and prepares to leave. At that moment, the little cystic monster came running again. The nurse saw the right moment and kicked it away. Finally, she ran out of the operating room before the instrument exploded. The crisis is finally resolved. This is the end of the film. After watching this film, I realized that we should not study strange instruments when we have nothing to do. Otherwise, the consequences would be too ghastly to contemplate. In the end, I have only one comment about this movie. That is it is perfect to watch during dinner time.